Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Good morning, good morning, YouTube. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am sitting here um, in the front of my house underneath a tree. Uh, well, that's the tree right over there. Wait, I don't know how to flip this and still record so anyway i am sitting here it's a beautiful day it is 81 degrees so i won't be out here long but i uh, wanted to get up and go check my mail and so i figured on the way back i'd sit here and just try to do my thought of the day something that was on on my mind for today so whatever you're thinking that this is the end that it, it won't get any better than what t today is and that um, your hope and your dreams are kind of smashed because nothing is, is, is really going in the right way. Good morning. Nothing is really going in the right direction. Then I think you need to take a few minutes this morning to remember that this chapter, this, this stage, this moment in time is not forever. That really simply what it is is a small time a small space of t a small space of time and things are going to get better so you have to know that this chapter is not forever that it's it's, it's really just simply a temporary uh, 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 it's, it's really just a, t a, a temporary step in what God has for you and I'm sorry about the stuttering my throat is killing me today but I'll push through and we'll get this message across because somebody needs to hear this today. Somebody needs to to know that this is not there forever, that this is not forever, that this time, this season, this this little short, uh, I don't know, a pit. You know how you're driving and the, the wheels get stuck in the mud? That's how you're feeling right now. You feel like you're stuck in this time, in this place, in this chapter. But in all actuality, you're not stuck. God has you here for a reason, for a season, and for a lesson. And once you get that, and once you understand that this, this is a season, this is a lesson, this is a chapter, once you get to know that, then you have so much more that you could give and so many things you can prove uh, and that you have the possibilities to create even a better outcome all on your own. Now, God will be there each step of the way, but you also have to make it through. You have to put in the effort. You have to put in the work. That's right. You have to put in the work and put in the effort. You want to get out of this hole? You want to get out this mess? You got to put in the work. This chapter is not the end. This, this, uh, yeah, this chapter is not the end of what you're going through. A lot of people give up and they say, I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. But the minute you are ready, the minute that you fix your mind to say that you're finished, you're done, and you don't want to do no more, that is when your victory is going to come. So you just have to hold on just a little bit longer. Now, I'm one of those people when I was in the pit of depression and people would tell me, it's going to get better, Sean. You just have to get up off the couch, Sean. Things going to get better. It went in one ear 
and out the other because I didn't want to hear it. I wasn't ready. You have to be ready in your heart. When I when I say that I'm happy and joyful when I wake up in the morning, I don't mince words with that because I am. I'm happy and I'm joyful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I feel that way. I could not be happy, grateful, thankful, and full of joy and get on here on YouTube with nonsense. I couldn't do it. That fake attitude, that that's not being authentic. I can only come on here when I can create something that's positive. When I'm real sick, I don't even get on YouTube. I've been in a hospital where I've had a nurse tape for me and I've done a couple things like that only because I felt like it was a lesson to be learned but I try to be positive as much as possible because right now in this chapter when you feel like you can't go forward when you feel like nothing is going right that is the time to work the hardest and that is right now today you feel like nothing's working in your favor you feel like God is not listening to you God is listening. Thank you, Father God. We thank you for watching over each and every one of us, Father. We know you're listening, Father God. Even though you're angry, even though you're sad, talk to God. Even though you feel like a failure, talk to God. Because he makes no mistakes. He created you for a reason. And once you figure out what your purpose is, then all the other things in your life will fall into place. You feel like you're in a pit. You feel like you're stuck in the mud and that tire won't move, and you stuck in this chapter, why do you feel stuck? Break it down. Why do you feel stuck? Did you try something and you wasn't successful? Did somebody tell you that you couldn't do something? See, you have to watch out for the, sp the people in the back that like to say all the negative stuff. They are dream killers. They are dream, you dream up a dream and they break you down because they don't want your dreams to come true. So you have to be careful who you share your dreams with. And that is a very good lesson. Be careful who you share your dreams with because God understands you. He knows what your desires are. So you have to just work a little harder. So let's get up out of the mud. Let's get those tires out of the mud. Let's start a new chapter starting today. I say, repeat after me. I am somebody. I am somebody. I am phenomenal. I am phenomenal. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. This chapter will not last forever. This chapter will not last forever. I will be triumphant. I will be triumphant. That's it. It's already done. Now all you have to do is say your prayer today get up, get moving, and be a part of the living. Don't be in despair. Don't waste away in depression. Get up, get moving, and find something productive to do today. You have to work on your self-esteem, and it starts with knowing that you are phenomenal, okay? So at this time, we're going to breathe in and breathe out and get our day started because we are phenomenal, and we have to go put our mark on other people. We have to uplift, encourage, and inspire others. So let's breathe in and breathe out. We thank you, Father God, for another day. So wherever you headed today, wherever you got to go, to work, to school, or maybe you got an appointment with your therapist, talk it out. Maybe somebody need to listen. Maybe you're going to go talk to your bishop today or your pastor. Do whatever it takes to get better, to feel better, to move forward, okay? So be happy and joyful, and don't be rude to anybody. Treat people with respect. It's the only way to live, okay? So have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Go out there in the world today and do something special. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. Remember that. You might be down right now, but tomorrow you could be up. God bless you.